social media is, it's not about an immediate ROI, it is about a relationship. You know, albeit online and maybe not the traditional relationship, what we're really doing is we are kind of meeting our customers where they're at and we're looking for ways to stay top of mind and we're looking for ways to uh, to regularly engage with them. I look at uh, Starker's Best One, which is one of our flagship, our flagship Best One location that we have in there in a small town of about 500 people. And their Facebook following is up to like 1,500 people. So they have a really strong Facebook following and it's a very engaged Facebook following. And what they do is they start to um, talk about not only just the fun things and the cute things and the informative things, but they talk a lot about, like you were saying, what they're doing in their community and how they can be a part of their community. They talk a lot about, um, you know, help us pick a charity to donate to, help us find a way to give back to our community, or here are the, um, you know, here we're gonna feature this employee because he's a part of your community and he's been with us for 20 years and he's great. And they do these things that have such a human element to them and so what they're doing by engaging with that human element is they're creating loyalty that has less to do with who they are as a business um, on the uh, value side maybe and on the pricing side, but who they are as a business and a part of the community. And I think that's such a strong tool to build that community relationship and to create loyalty in a whole different perspective and really take that focus off of pricing, which is important and occasionally you'll certainly see things on their Facebook page for that reason, but to really say, hey, we are invested in you, we're a part of your community, and social media is such a good way to get that message out, and I think over time that pays off and creates extreme loyalty with it.